Hey, it's Albert Orange, and welcome to the Bell the Before podcast with yours truly, Albert Orange. It's episode 55. Thank you for tuning in. All right. Thank you for deciding, hey, you know, let's click on this uh, this podcast, okay? Surely this podcast might provide me with some useful information or maybe a good laugh, you know, maybe some entertainment. If you're a first-time listener, all right, I just want you to know you are going to gain nothing from this, okay? All right, uh, just just from you tuning in, you know, you're just, you're not, you're not gonna, you're not gonna gain anything, you're not gonna gain any knowledge, any insight on anything. This isn't a, a place where we do research. This is a place where we talk about our time on this earth. We complain and we celebrate and we laugh and we we make mistakes okay and we talk all right but we we just have a good time all right okay and by we i really just mean me because because uh this this method of communication is really just you know really just goes one way you know you're not uh able to communicate with me in any way, you know, unless you're, uh, I don't know, unless you're on YouTube and you leave a comment in the, uh, you know, the comment section of one of these episodes, you know, or you can go on my Instagram, Albert underscore orange underscore zero zero seven, leave a message, you know, DM, you know, or maybe just another comment on a post or whatever, you know, you could do that as well, you know, you can also just, I don't know, show your appreciation for me by leaving a, a five-star review, you know, you don't even have to be accurate, you could just say, wow, this this podcast is just so great, you know, Everyone should learn about this, you know, everyone should listen to this um, and then just give nothing else about this, about the show, you know. You should tell it to your friends and when they ask you, hey, like, what's, well, what, what's this podcast that you're talking about, even about, you know, like, what, what happens in it? Is it interesting to say, hey, man, you just got to check it out, you know. I promise you it's so good. You just got to see it for yourself, you know. That's what you need to do. Okay? Go out there, everyone. Tell tell two people about about me, about Albert Orange. Yours truly, okay? Tell everyone or not not everybody you know, just two people. Tell your dog and your grandma about me, okay, tell your plants, your pet gerbil, okay, just tell them all about me, okay, they don't even have to be living, or, or animate, okay, they could be dead and inanimate, okay, tell a dead piece of fruit, hey, have you listened, have you listened to Albert Orange, just tell them that, you know, and just move on with your day, you know? Okay? Um, bonus points if you tell an actual living human being about this podcast. Okay? You know, just just putting that out there. Okay. Anyways. It's episode 55, everyone. I hope you're all as excited as I am. Alright? Um... After this, after recording this episode, I'm going to be hitting the weights. I'm going to be going to Planet Fitness. All right. Showing these Planet Fitness noobs how it's done. All these New Year's resolutioners. 
Okay, Planet Fitness is packed right now. Oh man. Oh man. Let me let me tell you. Let me tell you. All right. Oh man. It's just it's just um uh, it was kind of annoying because um I wanted to actually just genuinely join Planet Fitness. Um you know, this time of year. Um I just I just genuinely wanted to, you know, switch out of my old gym into Planet Fitness again. Just just genuinely. Just I just genuinely just wanted to go back to Planet Fitness. But like how do I do it without looking like like a New Year's resolutioner? Cause I've been working out for you know for you know oh man, how long has it been? It's been it's been over a year and a half. And um so I'm I'm gonna be coming up on two years this on on May. Okay. So yeah, it's it's been a it's been a pretty cool journey to be on. Um and so you know I've I've got experience. I've got that experience in me. But like how do I sign up for Planet Fitness without looking like, you know, like a like a total noob? Cuz I do really look like a noob kind of, you know. I mean, you know, I I've got a little bit of muscle on and stuff, but I'm still skinny, you know. I I'm still like I still got tiny wrists and stuff, tiny calves, you know, my legs aren't all that flattering. My my fucking my man tits are just, you know, swelled up, you know. So, in that in that sense I do have a big chest, but you know, my man tits are just, you know, just just super fucking pointy. You know, my nipples, you know, I bet you didn't expect me to talk about my nipples in this episode. Well, here you go. That's, that's this podcast for you, you know? Um, so I just, I made sure to tell the guy, Hey, you know, I'm a, uh, (laughs) I'm a former member here. Okay. I've been here before, um, cause I actually have been there before, um, last year, no, not, not last year, uh, in 2021, okay, um, yeah, I, I did a few months at Planet Fitness, 2021, 2022, and so, um, I tell the guy, hey, you know, I've, I've been here before, you know, I mean, I'm here to sign up, but, you know, uh, I, I was a former, I was a member here. I used to be a member here. So, you know, if you could just like pull up my information or something, I don't know. And then the guy was like, uh, I can't find anything. <laughs> he actually said that he's like, I, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I can't find anything, but you know, let's just create your account. Um, he, he did have this thing on his name tag that said he was a new member though. So like a new staff member at the, front desk at Planet Fitness, so, I don't know, I don't know, but in any case, you know, I got the, uh, I, I got the membership at the, at PF, you know, just because it's cheaper, just because I, I've wanted to return for a, for a while, you know, and, uh, the, the gym that I was going to before was really good, but the thing was, man, I I hated forking up $10 every week. Every single fucking week, you know? With Planet Fitness, and this is going to sound like a commercial, like like I'm sponsored. I'm, I promise you I'm not. Uh, you only have to do that, you know, every month. Just $10 every month. You know, maybe there's like a annual fee, you know, coming up. Sure. Like, I think I have to pay, like, 70 bucks in March or something. But, you know, you just you just do that, and then from there on, 
Just it's just ten dollars a month, bro. You know. So that's that's all you gotta do. So and it's not like I'm, um, it's not like I'm you know gonna be missing a lot of stuff from that old gym at Planet Fitness. Cause even though the 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 gym that I was at had like barbells and stuff. That was like the only thing that made the difference, you know, between that and Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness doesn't have any any free weight barbells. They do have dumbbells. They do have those fixed barbells. Um, although those go up to like maybe like only 60 pounds or something like that. Um, but they only have Smith machines, okay? And so that's that's the only thing that you know, is kind of like different about Planet Fitness and and the gym I was going to, to you know. Um, but it's not like I even used the, the free weight barbells all that much. I mean, I was using them for deadlifts and squats and stuff, but I could do those at the Smith Machines. I mean, the deadlifts might be a little bit awkward because the Smith, it's, first of all, it's a Smith Machine, like, who 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 does deadlifts at a Smith machine? Um, I say that knowing damn well that I I've seen quite a few people do that at at the Smith machine. So maybe it's becoming a bit more of a common practice, I guess, um, more accepted practice. Um, but also, it's like the Smith machine is is angled. There's an angle on the Smith machine. So it's like, you know, <laughs> it's going to be like a little bit awkward to do that. And I've done bent barbell rows on the Smith machine before. And those those can be a little awkward to, to set up. Because, you know, you got to make sure that your knees don't, you know, don't make any contact with the barbell as you're, you know, making the barbell go down. Um, I guess you're not making the barbell go down. You're you're just letting the barbell go down, um, you know. And you gotta you gotta just like make your entire body just kind of angle with the the you know the path of the Smith machine bar, you know. So that's that's kind of awkward. But aside from that, you know, um, and also with the squats. Uh, the squats are kind of weird. I've always felt hip pain when doing squats. And I think that started just out of, you know, just because of that, um, that Smith machine angle at Planet Fitness. And I've always felt like some sort of hip pain when trying to adjust my feet and stuff, you know. And, you know, I've, I've tried to adjust my feet so that the, my feet are like, you know, uh, in front of the, the fucking, of, uh, where the, the fucking Smith machine path would meet on the floor. I tried doing it like with my feet right on the, the line. I tried doing it with my feet, you know, like wide and narrow and stuff. Every every time, every single time, I felt hip pain, and then this time around, I said, you know what? What if, what if we just like, uh, put my feet behind the, you know, where the bar would would meet the ground, and I did that yesterday, and it kind of felt better. So, I I guess. I guess I I'm gonna be able to fix my squats that way. If not, um, that's gonna be a major disappointment because I I do want to build up my squat, you know. Um, so and and if I can't do that at Planet Fitness, then I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> you know, I I think I'll just I don't know. I I think I'll just like. Um, use their leg press machines and stuff, you know? 
Or I could, you know, try to do like some sort of Bulgarian split squat with the with the Smith machines, although the seat height or or the the bench height, you know, on those might be a little bit difficult and stuff. So and also I don't I don't think you can even fit the the bench in the Smith machine space. So that might be a problem. You know, like if you're doing it, you know, like horizontally, that might be a problem. Um this this is not interesting to uh to anybody who doesn't go to Planet Fitness. I I I can understand that. Um this this will only make sense if you've ever been in Planet Fitness. Um you know. Uh that that's 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 who it will make sense to. Um but yeah, I'm I'm, I'm at Planet Fitness right now and you know, I'm just hitting those weights. You know, I haven't worked out uh too hard in a while, so you know, this time around, I'm taking it a bit easy, you know, let, letting my muscles acclimate, you know, to the weight, to the resistance, you know what I mean? Just, uh, just, just trying to feel that grind later on, you know what I mean? So, yeah, there you go. Anyways, why did I even start talking about about Planet Fitness, about going to the gym. I don't even remember. Um, I was talking about trying to join without looking like a New Year's resolutioner. Um, and how the gym is so packed. I, I, I can't, I can't even remember how it got on this topic. Um, I guess, because... Because it was so packed, I guess. But how did I... I don't know. I don't know. It is very packed at Planet Fitness. It is very packed. Um, every day, almost. Um, like, any time after probably, like, maybe 5, 5 p.m., you know? It just... There's so many fucking people there. It's, like, it's fucking ridiculous, you know? And it's just like, it's it's just so much. There's so much meat in this one facility. And it's just, it's just, you know, it's too much. You know, maybe, listen, I'm not, I'm not saying I, I like the guy, but maybe Thanos was right. You know, maybe Thanos was right. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, just maybe. You know, uh, again, I, I'm not saying I like the guy. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, let's switch topics here. Um, oh, man. We're going to talk about sports in a few minutes. Okay. I'm going to try to keep this podcast a little bit shorter, maybe like 50 minutes or so, 45, you know, somewhere in that range. Uh, I'll talk about sports at the end, because I feel like, I feel like if I talk about sports in the beginning, that kind of, that kind of, uh, you know, takes all, takes out all of the, the energy for after, for later on, you know, so let's just, let's just settle down, okay, um, but you know what, speaking of sports, um, I am, I am still recovering from what happened last Saturday. Okay, about you know, pretty much a week ago. Um, actually, I I think I'm I think I'm, uh, kind of like maybe like ninety percent recovered from that. You know, at least mentally, there's still there's there's always gonna be like, from from now on till you know. You know, till I think till I die, I guess. 
there's always going to be like a little, a little, a little part of me that just goes, I can't fucking believe that, that, you know, what happened in that game happened, you know? I can't, fu- and if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back one episode, okay? It's, uh, it's episode 54 of this podcast. I did a whole, whole, uh, play by play reaction of, of the game between the Seattle Seahawks and the, um, the, you know, the communists from California, you know, um, so <laughs> that's, that's, um, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. And, um, yeah, Seattle is out of the playoffs. They made the playoffs. They were good enough for the playoffs this year. Um, at least that's what the football gods, um, have deemed. Um, but they were not good enough to advance to the divisional round against the number two seed in the NFC this year. So that's that's unfortunate, um, you know. But hey, you know we 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 still got a great team, a very young team. They're still developing, and uh, you know things can only get better from here. That's what I feel like, at least. That things can only get better from here. Unless something disastrous happens. You know, like, like Geno Smith gets injured. Oh, my God. Anyways, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a few minutes, okay? Let's just talk about something else. But I, I just want to give a shout-out to uh, one of my local Taco Bells. There's, like, three Taco Bells in my area. But one of them... I went to last night, and I just want to give a shout out to them. They'll never hear this, but I just I just want to put it out there in in the universe, okay? The Taco Bell that I went to last night, uh, the employees there are fucking great. They're fantastic people, okay? I barely talk to them, but they're fantastic people, and I'll tell you why, okay? So yesterday after. After leaving, after working out at Planet Fitness, you know, doing leg day at Planet Fitness, okay, I decided to reward myself with my with all of my good work, uh, with with some tacos from Taco Bell, okay. If that sounds counterintuitive, I know it is. I'm not. I don't give a crap about my diet here, okay. Uh, at least not currently. I know I can do better. At the gym, if I take care of my diet, I know I can get better results, bigger, stronger, faster, fucking uh, uh, more flexible, you know, if I clean up my diet, but I'm not, I'm not doing that, I'm not focusing on, on any of that, I don't intend on cleaning up my diet anytime soon, I eventually will, I eventually will, but right now it's just not, it's not something that I'm focused on. So, anyways, I go to Taco Bell after Planet Fitness, after the gym. Okay, I go to Taco Bell. Um, again, one of one of three in my area, and um, or maybe like four. I don't know. There's there's a lot of Taco Bells around. Um, I go to Taco Bell. Okay, and uh, I order on the uh the fucking What's it called? The uh, it's like the, it's like those, uh, touch screen, uh, machines where like, you can, you can order your food by yourself, you know. So, I I order, a fucking what was it? It was like, it was like one of those big box deals where like, it was, it's like fifteen dollars, but like you get like eight tacos. You know, so I think that goes down to like two dollars a taco or something. It's like it's like four tacos and and four burritos and stuff, you know, so I get that. And um, I actually switch out the burritos for just, you know, soft tacos and, you know, um, 
you know, all plain, just cheese, lettuce, and, you know, that classic Taco Bell seasoned beef, you know, I love that stuff, um, and so I ordered that, okay, and, uh, I go up to the counter to pay with cash, all right, and so I do that, I pay for my order, I get the receipt and stuff, and so I'm just standing there, I'm waiting, there's like nobody else in the restaurant except for like this family, um, and you know, I'm just waiting there, and it takes like, it takes like, you know, maybe like 15 minutes before somebody's like, I, I, I see some of uh, of the guys working there in the kitchen, you know I how you can see like in the kitchen sometimes. Uh, I see some of them, you know, and they're like, they're like looking at me and they're kind of like talking amongst themselves and like, they're, they're clearly like trying to figure something out, you know, at this point, I'm like, I'm kind of annoyed just because like, you know, I know it's like a big, big box of tacos and stuff. It's like eight tacos there. You know, so I'm thinking like, wow, like they're they're taking a really long time to to cook eight tacos, but maybe that's that's just how long it takes to you know make eight tacos and stuff. Like I usually only get like a like a quesadilla and stuff, or like maybe like one or two tacos at a time. You know, this is like my my like my second time ordering such such a large quantity of tacos so maybe it takes them this long to to do it but like still it's like it's taken a a, a while you know eventually one of the guys it's the guy who um i paid cash to for the order he looks at me he says sorry about that and then he leaves which i i feel like it was very weird you know because he says sorry about that and then you know he's looking at me and then he just walks into the kitchen without even like you know uh waiting for my response you know but uh you know again like you know he's a busy guy i guess so that you know it was just kind of weird it, you know it's kind of funny and stuff so, eventually, another guy comes out, big, big dude, you know, gives me five coupons for free tacos, okay, five coupons, you know, he goes, hey, you know, sorry about that, you know, take these, I'm like, oh, okay, he's not even saying what he's sorry for, he's just like, oh, I'm sorry about that, <laughs> you know. Um, he, so he just gives me these coupons for free tacos. He's like, Hey, you know, just come in anytime, you know, those are free, you know? And so I'm like, okay, um, this is pretty cool, I guess. And then maybe like two minutes later, another guy comes out. He's like, all right, boss, sorry about that. Uh, there was a miscommunication. That's what it came down to. It was just a miscommunication. He goes, um, you know, take these. I added in some uh, some extra stuff in there. I see that he has a bag, like a separate bag full of something. I, you know, I'm, I'm not even sure what it is. I'm, I'm pretty sure he said what it was, but I wasn't listening. I was just like looking like he had the box of tacos and then like a separate bag. I'm just like wondering what the bag was. As he was explaining it to me. Um, but I figured, okay, this is just this is just like, you know, like like their way of making up for the weight, I guess. So he goes, Hey, you know, it's just a mi- miscommunication, you know, here you go, have a good night. I'm like, Okay, well th- thank you very much. Go in my car, you know. He threw in some some like like three little packets of of cinnamon twists for free, no extra charge, okay? And I'm like, wow, like, 
All I had to do was wait 20 minutes. I get eight tacos, you know, uh, you know, three little packets of cinnamon twists and like five coupons for free tacos, you know, this is like, this is like, this is pretty cool, you know, now I am getting those things for free, you know, um, so, and you know, they did have that miscommunication, which I don't know may potentially lead to, for them to have some trouble or some. I don't know. I don't know, but you know they they made up for it clearly, and uh, so it's like wow, you know, like I could, I could probably uh, get used to this if if they did that every time, you know. Um, so that's, that was very nice of them, and, you know, I, I saw, I saw that guy who eventually gave me my order, um, uh, going outside, he was, like, carrying a box, um, toward his car or something, um, and, you know, I, I rolled down my window, I said, hey, man, thanks, I appreciate it, he goes, oh, yeah, yeah, no, no problem, like, have a good night, man, I say, yeah, you too, and, you know, that was the end of it. All right. So, you know, I guess the moral of the story, the moral, what the fuck? I just, I, I can't speak sometimes. The moral of the story for this is, uh, first of all, be nice to, you know, restaurant workers, um, fast food workers and stuff. But also, you know, uh, Go to Taco Bell, cause they they you know if they mess up your order and stuff they'll they'll be cool about it you know so uh, thanks Taco Bell I'm I'm giving up a a thumbs up you know I'm I'm giving you all a thumbs up there thank you for that and uh, yeah I think I'll I think I'll be a uh, going to talk about more often, you know, because uh, th- those guys seem pretty cool, you know, they they were very apologetic, very, uh, you know, um, I guess, I don't know, I mean, they, they probably don't, don't care anyways, <laughs> they probably just, you know, they probably just think that their job sucks and stuff, but, you know, they, hey, you, you know, like, they're still, they're still displaying some uh, some common courtesy and stuff, you know, some some nice customer service. So that's I I appreciate that very much. And uh, you know, next time you're at Taco Bell, this is what I would say to you. Next time you're at Taco Bell, just be nice to your Taco Bell worker, okay? Just be nice to them, and uh, they'll be nice to you. They'll be extra nice to you if. If you're nice to them, and and uh, you know they they mess up your order, so you know just just keep that in mind. Or all right, you know Talk Bell. I feel like Talk Bell has the potential to just really just connect with with Gen Z a lot more than anybody else. I I think Starbucks might be like in direct competition over Gen Z with, with, uh, with Taco Bell. Cause McDonald's, you know, Mc- McDonald's is more of a, of a universal restaurant, you know? Um, same with Burger King, I guess. Um, you know, fast food places like that. But Taco Bell, I feel like, like their marketing has the potential to to reach a lot more Gen Z millennial type of people than you know uh Gen X Gen Xers and uh and boomers, you know. So it's not it's not like a, you know, a race thing, you know. The, I mean Mexicans don't just Mexicans just don't don't go to talk about you know, um, it, it it's more I think with with Taco Bell, 
they gotta they gotta focus on the Gen Zers, okay? The Gen Zers, the, the you know people like me, those are the guys that are gonna save our mental health. All right, so that's I'm I'm gonna be rooting for Talk Bell from now on, at least until I, you know, um, you know, turn in those coupons for some free tacos. Then after that, you know, who knows? But anyways, I don't wanna I don't wanna keep riding on the Taco Bell wave. I wanted to talk about some other, you know, stupid thing that involved a guy who was very rude in a parking lot at a hospital. Um <laughs> because he, he wouldn't he wouldn't display common courtesy of backing up, you know, while attempting to make a turn in the parking lot at a hospital and me, you know, I'm 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 in my car, you know, in my sedan, my Cadillac, all right, CTS 2004. Um and I'm just I'm just trying to squeeze through his van, his shitty ass fucking Subaru, Honda, whatever vehicle and this row of cars that are parked I'm s- trying to squeeze through and he wouldn't fucking back up he wouldn't fucking back there was nobody behind him and um uh, you know he was just he was waving at me like saying go fucking go like i'm the fucking problem you know i'm trying to i'm trying to like fucking drive through this parking lot at a fucking hospital, because my my mother my mother's fine, but my mother you know had like this this operation done on her on her shoulder and stuff. Um, but she she's fine. Nothing hap- Nothing bad happened to her. She she just had to get it get this thing done, you know. So I'm visiting my mother and stuff, and I'm driving through this fucking parking lot at the hospital. This fucking guy was trying to turn. In the, and you know, on, you know, trying to make a turn on the path that I'm on. So he's got his van, like, halfway across the path, you know. And I had to fucking squeeze through his van and the row of uh, of cars on my right. You know, his van is, is on my left, the, the row of parked cars... Is on my right. He's waving at me, telling me to go. Like you know, like why don't you fucking respect, uh, you know my space, show some common courtesy and fucking back off. Just back up. There's nobody behind you. You know. I roll down my window. And I just say, hey man, all you gotta do is reverse. All you gotta do is reverse. He, he wouldn't fucking look at me. It's fucking unbelievable. How selfish. How selfish, you know? <sighs> Anyways, I just had to get that off my chest. I know I know some of that might have not made sense, but still. I think the the whole moral of this episode is just be nice. Just be nice to people, man. Okay? That's that's gonna be the title of this podcast. Just be nice. To people, man. All right. Jesus Christ. Anyways. All right. Let's talk about sports here. Oh my God, I gotta play. I gotta play it. Hold on. Let's look. I can't. I can't talk about sports without without first doing this. Okay. And I know. I know this. This is like taking up. Uh, unnecess- <clears throat> unnecessary time. I don't know what happened with my voice there. Unnecessary time on the podcast. But it, it's got to be done. I got to do it. Okay? It's my responsibility. Why isn't my piano turning on? What's go? Oh, I'm, I'm not even... Hold on. I don't even have the, the correct plug plugged in my outlet. Where is the plug for my piano? What 
the hell happened? Where where the fuck is the wall outlet plug for my piano? What the fuck? What the fuck happened? Hold on. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. You know, I would really call in the the Scooby Doo gang. You know, to to help me find the plug for my p piano, but after after seeing a clip from that Velma show, oh Jesus Christ. Oh my fucking god. It's like it's like any any illusions I had about that show just quickly faded away. Where the fuck is the plug? What the fuck happened to it? Hold on. Jesus Christ, I just I just want to talk about the NFL here and I I can't even find the plug. What the fuck happened to it? What the fuck? Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to figure this out here. Okay? All right. The the plug I mistook for the piano plug. Wait a minute. This is the fucking Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay. So the plug that I thought uh th that doesn't make sense. Hold on. The plug that I thought was not the the plug for my piano was actually the plug for my piano. But I'm turning on my piano and it's plugged into the wall, but it's not fucking turning on. It's not fucking turning on. Oh my god, what the fuck happened? It's not turning on. Oh my god. Is this how I find out that my piano is broken? What the fuck happened? Hold on, hold on. Let me let me check the back. See if like the AC adapter is like actually plugged into the piano itself. It's not it's not fucking turning on. Oh my god. What the fuck have I done? What happened? <laughs> my piano doesn't want to turn on. Hold on, let me figure this out here, alright? Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Um... My piano appears to be dead right now. So, um, I'm, I'm really sad right now. Um, I don't know what could have happened. Um, I mean, I, I, I got it plugged into the wall and it's, I'm, I'm hitting the, the on button on the piano and it's not turning on. So, this is just, this is really just exactly what I fucking needed right now, you know? I could, I, I, I have no idea what could have possibly happened. This cost me fucking a thousand dollars to get, you know, a thousand dollars. Jesus Christ. And it doesn't fucking work. It doesn't fucking work. Jesus Christ. I mean, what... What the hell could have possibly happened? Oh my God! Hold on, let let me try it again. Just in, just in case I'm crazy or something. I mean, cause I, I, okay, I I got it plugged in, okay, and I I got the my finger on the on button, and it's not fucking turning on. It's the the screen there there's like this little screen in the middle of the uh panel, okay? And um it's not doing anything. 
So I have no idea if I I have no idea. I have no idea what could have possibly happened. Um there it doesn't appear to be damaged anywhere. Um the only thing I, that I could think of is that, uh, you know, this garage is pretty cold, but, I mean, it's managed to survive the entire winter so far. And, like, it's not even that cold anymore, so, like, what the fuck could have happened, you know? Let me let me try it on another out, uh, wall outlet here. There's, like, several wall outlets in my garage. There's, like... There's like several. There's like seven that could just be pointed out. Um, let me try that. It's not fucking working. Oh my god. Uh, what the hell am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, you know what? I would I would love to talk about sports right now but this has got me just too bummed out. Um so I I mean I, I don't know what to do here. Um All right, you know what? Let's just if if you all will forgive me for this, okay? I will talk about the NFL playoff playoffs for just a little bit um before I sign off here okay give you my predictions about what I think will happen and stuff this has got me too bummed out man I can't I don't I don't know what could have happened here um this this sucks I'm gonna have to like I don't know, do some troubleshooting and stuff later. I don't know. Um, anyways. God damn it. I, I paid a thousand dollars for this goddamn piano. I've wanted a piano for so long. And the reason I paid so much for it is because I, I just, you know, I just decided, hey, why not? Let's get the best or or at least one of the best things that I could get right now. Um and you know it's fucking broken. Um so I don't know what to do. Um anyways, the NFL playoffs, Jaguars and the Chiefs. And then it's going to be the Giants and the Eagles um for tomorrow, Saturday. Which is probably when you're listening to this. Um, And then on Sunday, it's going to be the Bengals and the Bills. And then the Cowboys and the 49ers. Alright. I'm going to tell you what I want to happen. Right here. Okay. So, I I want the Bills to beat the Bengals. And I want the Cowboys to beat the Niners. Okay. Um... And then the the Giants and the Eagles, you know, I I like to see the Giants upset the Eagles, you know, um, and I'd also like to see the Jaguars upset the Chiefs, but you know, three of these things will uh, definitely not happen, probably. Uh, the Jaguars are gonna lose to the, to the Chiefs. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the Eagles over the Giants. I'm going to pick the the communists over the cowboys. And then, you know, I think the Bills might take it. I think the Bills might take it. So, we'll just see. We'll just have to see about that. That's going to be an interesting game to watch. Um so yeah. Yeah. Last time, it was the Bills against the Chiefs in the divisional round. And then the Chiefs were able to go on to the AFC Championship. And then that's when they lost to the Bengals. So, you know, 
this time around is different. Um, oh, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm really bummed about this piano because, ah, oh, fuck. You know? I mean, I, I know I, I haven't really practiced on it for a while, but it's still, like, still feels a little bit tragic here but i'm not i'm not going to give up on hope just yet i'm going to try to troubleshoot it a little bit anyways um that's that's where i'm going to end this episode i hope you enjoyed it go eat at taco bell or don't i don't care go subscribe to my youtube channel it's albert orange okay Go follow me on Instagram. It's Albert underscore orange underscore zero zero seven. As in, you know, James Bond and stuff. Yada, yada, yada. Please pray for my piano. Send your thoughts and prayers over my direction. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, <clears throat> leave a like. A five-star review. And, uh, go... Go... Uh, fucking... Uh, I, I forgot the language list as well. Hold on. Let me search that up real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Good. Goodbye in different languages. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Right now, we're going to find out in what language I'm going to say goodbye in. Um, hold on. Hold on. Oh, man. These are wild. Okay. Um, wait a minute. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you for, for listening to this. And as the Romanians say... La revedere, la revedere, la revedere. I, I, I don't know why I'm saying it like a like an Italian. La revedere, la revedere, everyone. See you next week. <laughs>